All right, well, a story we've been telling you about throughout the weekend. The desperate search now continues. The U.S. Coast Guard is still looking for a person who was on a boat that capsized late at night, about a half mile and uh, about a mile and a half, that is, just from the Boca Raton Inlet. CBS 12's Andrew Lofholm is joining us now with what's next for the Coast Guard and their search for this missing boater. Hey, good evening, Jim. So I actually just got off the phone with the FWC. So this information is brand new. I was able to get a report from them. And in that report, described the man who was missing really as a hero. He was handing out life jackets to everybody who was on the boat when it capsized. He wasn't able to get one on himself. Those other five people, they were saved. He is still missing. Right now, the search goes from basically here in Boca Raton all the way north to Fort Pierce. One foot boat was carrying six people late Friday night. They were on a fishing trip about a quarter mile offshore from South Beach Park. It ran into engine trouble, according to FWC. The boat began taking on water. The boat's driver called a friend for help who was fishing nearby. 67 year old Juani Kerr started handing out life jackets when it capsized. All six people were in the water. The friend was able to rescue everyone except Kerr. Kerr's children sent CBS 12 these photos of their father. Kerr had a yellow rain jacket, but wasn't able to get a life vest on for himself in time. FWC, along with the Coast Guard and Boca Raton Police, all started looking for him that night. With the current moving north, the search area has followed it, extending to Fort Pierce. These cases are always hard, and uh, we will continue our search until uh, we've exhausted all our resources. But we are continuing our search efforts throughout the day, and if anybody can help out, then we definitely appreciate it. Now, I did talk to Kerr's family briefly on the phone today, but they did not want to comment quite yet on what exactly has been happening with their father. If you have any information that could help in this search, you need to contact the FWC or the Coast Guard. We're live in Boca Raton, Andrew Lofholm, CBS 12 News.